I should not have to be making this video, but wow, Marvel really messed up. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, let me tell you right now that this is definitely not my normal type of content. I do not make reactionary stuff. And also, if you're worried that you clicked onto an anti-SJW, anti-diversity page, uh, no. I think when it comes to dedicated comic book YouTubers, I'm one of the few people with at least a decent subscriber base that is pretty well known to be pro-diversity. But I cannot defend this one like at all. So if you don't know, there is a new book coming out called The New Warriors, which is a team that I'm a big fan of, and they're going to be taking part in the Outlawed event, which I'm actually interested in seeing where it goes. You see, because of a big, well, it's not really a mishandling, just there was a lot of collateral damage happening with the Champions, who is the premier team of young characters. There is now a new law being passed in the United States in the Marvel Comics universe that young heroes can't really be a thing anymore because they're inexperienced. So now there's, you know, a big problem. You know, young characters, they still want to be heroes. The adults don't want them to be. But the new warriors, who were very much the young team from way back in the day, are now grown up. And instead of being the rebels, they are now the authorities. And they are training a new group of new, new warriors. And wow, the new, new team is like peak, peak cringe. This is some of the worst stuff that I have ever seen from Marvel. And listen, I defend a lot of what Marvel does. Because frankly, I don't think it's really that bad, or at the very least, not as bad as a lot of the reactionaries tend to think. But I will admit, Marvel is not immune to some really bad writing, some really cringy writing too. Uh, definitely want to say the America book, America Chavez, love the character, did not like the most recent book. And I do like the concept of Outlawed. I like the concept of the new warriors being the authority figures. I do not like these new characters. And specifically, there are two characters that are the worst. They are Safe Space and Snowflake. The names alone, wow. But, so Safe Space is the more bro-y, jockey character, going with like a nice pink aesthetic. I'm fine with that, nothing wrong with it. He has the power to make force fields only whenever he's protecting somebody. And his twin sibling is Snowflake, co-opting the term that has gotten pretty toxic over the years. And they are non-binary totally fine with that. I get a lot of shit on Twitter for having my pronouns listed. And listen, I understand that I am a straight, cis, white man. I'm probably not the best person to be explaining this, but wow, this does not seem like representation done right. And when I tweeted about this, I don't seem to be the only person. And some of the people that are the most angry are non-binary folk. The character designs of these characters, the names of these characters. They do not seem like they're here in earnest. They don't seem like these are a push for nice, genuine diversity, which I am all for. I think it's high time that we got some legitimate non-binary representation in comic books, but this does not seem like this is gonna be it. This seems like these characters would fit right at home inside of like some super bigoted parody book, like, some of the stuff that we've frankly seen in the comic community over the past few years. These characters are just complete, uh, can I get a yikes? They are complete fucking yikes. It, I, I don't like this at all. And I am definitely a firm believer that you can't really judge the quality of a book or the quality of writing until you've actually consumed it. I have not read these books yet. They have not come out. I am going to give them a fair shake because who knows, maybe they could be good. I'm a firm believer that there's no such thing as a bad character, only bad writers. Even terrible, terrible characters with just awful ideas behind them can turn into something very interesting if there's good quality writing behind it. Maybe it's like lampooning or being a high quality satire of certain things. I really don't feel like this is going to be the case. I very much hope that I'm wrong. The last thing I want is for this to be representation. This is exactly the kind of ammunition that the anti-SJWs are looking for. This is some really awful stuff. When they talk about forced diversity being shoved down their throats and, oh, look at this 
eh, this is LGBT propaganda. This is what it looks like. The characters that they come up with whenever they're doing their sketches and just throwing shit on Twitter, these are the kind of characters they look like. And the names, I get that they're trying to take back the names. They're trying to take back these negative labels and use them for a source of positivity. It just does, this ain't, this ain't it. Uh, not to mention that I think I heard somewhere, do not quote me on this because I, I'm not a pure expert, but I heard that Snowflake was a derogatory term for black people that are trying to act white. I think that somebody said this is from the 70s. Again, that could not be true. I could just be talking out of my ass. But if that is true, that definitely seems like something that you probably should have looked into before co-opting this. And look, there is plenty more that I don't like about the New Warriors. I could talk about Screen Time, who got his powers from internet gas, and he is just like the freakazoid character, the internet kid been taken to its logical extreme. This book, maybe it's gonna be brilliant. Maybe it's just not for me. I am going to give it a fair shake, but this does not seem like the right way to include diversity. This is exactly the kind of laughing stock that people think Marvel is. And if this is the route that it's going to go down, well, yeah, that's earned. I have defended a lot of crap from Marvel over the years, and I don't want to make a video where I rant in front of my fucking camera. I usually sit on a goddamn throne, and I do just very well researched, at least in my opinion, comic book history videos, trying to make this medium more accessible because the comic industry sure as hell isn't doing it. This is the kind of crappy video that you see from these reactionaries where they just sit and talk. I don't have a lot of visuals to show. I don't have a lot of editing I can really do because there's not material for me to work with yet. Again, I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that this ends up being actually really charming, but like I said, Marvel is not immune to bad writing, and we have seen it peek into their books on occasion. This looks like it's going to be it. And the last thing that I want as a Marvel fan is to see a company and a universe that I love become a laughingstock. And if this is the future, it's probably going to be. Like I said, not my normal type of content. I normally don't just sit here and do some low quality rants with a few edits. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what I do, if you're interested in looking at my uh, my pro-diversity content, maybe subscribe. Take a look at some other videos while, while you're here. Uh, that's really all I have to say. I'm just mad, and frankly, I'm even more disappointed. So, I'm in the middle of moving. <laughs> I, I don't have time to be making these videos. I gotta, like, finish packing up my shit. So, I'm done. I'm gonna upload this video and be out of here. So, see ya. Bye.